Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about super screenshots. So let's get cracking. Friends, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a tool. This is a tool I use on Windows. If you've got a tool on your Chromebook or something else you appreciate more, that's fine. I just want this one in my classroom. So to get the tool, friends, we click on the bottom, we type SN for snipping, and it gives us the snipping tool. Make sure you're using the right mouse button and click on it, and I want you to pin it to the taskbar. Then you can click over here, and from now on, the snipping tool will be down here on the bottom. When you click this, it gives you this button here to create a screenshot. Make sure you use this tool instead of the blue button. The blue button's a totally different program. It's newer, but I appreciate the snipping tool for how fast it is. So I'm gonna close this for a second and I'm gonna show you how to get a quality screenshot. The first thing you need to know is how to zoom. You can roll your mouse. You can do the plus or the minus. You can right click your mouse and orbit. If you hold down shift and right click, it can pan. And I want you to always turn in the highest quality screenshot you can where it fills most of your screen. Also, if you've done cool things like add notes, hide them so they're out of the way for the screenshot. When you've got it the way you want, you simply click on the tool, you click new, and then you grab the coolest picture you can. Now this over here isn't really needed, so I'm gonna just hit new again because I didn't like what I grabbed. And I'm going to grab again and see if I can get it a little bit better. That's a nice rectangular screenshot, which is what I need. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of times I take your screenshots and put them into videos. So friends, once you've got the screenshot, we've got to save it. And we do that with this button right here. When you click that button, I want you to find your quick access. I want you to find your downloads and I want you to name it with your name. That way when I'm building videos, I can see the name so there's less chance that I'll mess up. I've saved this once, so this time I'm gonna put house two. I do also wanna let you know you can take several screenshots of your project from all kinds of angles and you can turn more than one in for everything you create. This is my second channel, Doodle Jams. I will put a card up above so you can get to it. Tomorrow I'm gonna post a video where it is drawings of students' projects. So if you're in my room today, if you give me a high quality screenshot of your house, you've got a chance of being in tomorrow's Doodle Jams. These come out every Thursday and they're just a fun way to show off the cool work and listen to some sweet music. This channel is all about royalty free music. So if you have any interest in music or you need royalty free music for your creations, this is a great place to start. You can see down here this is last week's where we had projects about spooky season. I also have videos about my dog Bailey. Real quickly friends once you have the screenshots you need to turn them in. We always use Google Classroom so simply view the assignment, add a file, and then you can browse for the files in your downloads. Make sure you always save your pictures in your downloads and you have cool names with them. Then you can hit OK and then you have to wait a moment for it to pop up so you can hit turn in once and then you always have to hit turn in a second time. Make sure you follow those steps so I have access to your screenshots. One last reminder in Tinkercad, it is right click and rotate and then you do shift right click to pan and then there's a scroll wheel that you can zoom in with or you can use the sweet plus and minus over here. One other quick bonus, you can also hide this so you have a little more room to play with. Lastly, everybody, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.